What's up family? Today we're looking at this Rolo Logistics label printer. I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to print the label for you and you're going to see how it works and how to load it. So let's just get started with the unboxing. All right, so in the box, you get the wire, the plug for the um, power. Take this out. We have the printer itself. Right, also in the box we have the rest of the wires, the book, you know, some more stuff, and you know some light little extras. And cleaning swabbies and over here we have the cable for the printer so the actual printer cable that's going to attach to your printer and the computer right usb so we got three cables we have the two separate power cables that go together and then the printer cable if I take the printer itself, right, you can see it's small, compact, so it go, can go with you and travel. It's got the power switch here. And we have the printer cable and then the power cable. And on the side here is where you're gonna open the printer. So you'll see there's a little, a little latch and then you can just squeeze it and the printer will open and then we can load the printer with the label. And you wanna do that once it's on because if you do that once it's on, It'll feed it in and then you can, I'll show you a little trick on how I realign the paper once it's in there, if it's not done perfectly. Okay, so let's let's get it plugged in first. All right, so now I have it plugged in. I'm gonna turn the power button on right here and you're gonna see it's gonna go on and then it's gonna blink red because there's no labels. We're gonna take the printer cable, and as you can see, we're just gonna line that up here. Put that in there, and then I'm just gonna plug it into my computer here. Okay, there we have it. So I have the USB plugged into my computer. I have the printer cable and the power cable. Let's turn it on. Okay, that's my computer recognizing it. All right, you can see that right now it's blinking red because there's no paper. So I'm gonna show you how to load it. Okay, I have this box of labels and I'm just gonna open it and leave it open like this, right? And then we're gonna set it up so the labels just feed out like that. All right, and there's a label feeder you can get, but you can simply use the box of labels as the label feeder. I'm gonna turn the device a little bit to the side and we're gonna feed it in the back so you can see it. Now that we have the labels lined up with the machine, we're gonna feed the labels into the machine. So I'm just gonna open the machine up and close it very slowly to kind of reset it if I had been messing with it already or if you push any buttons, just to give it a fresh start. I'm gonna take the label here and then we're gonna feed it into the machine. All right, and usually it'll align pretty well, but in the event it doesn't align, like over here, I could see that it's just like a hair off. I could just gently uh, align it by hand a little extra if I needed to. So this is now all set up. As it comes through, it'll feed the labels. I can just push the feed button. All right, and then I'll just go a label at a time. All right, and if I want to reset it, I'm going to open it again and put my labels back in because I didn't use them. All right, then I'm going to close it and we're going to find that spot again. And then if I have to adjust it, like I said, I could just pull this back a tiny bit. All right, and the main thing is if you're going to print a lot of labels, you just want to make, the, make sure that the first label is perfectly aligned because as it goes through, if you have like 50 or 100, they'll slowly become off and you don't want to have to reprint a bunch of labels and waste labels. So that's my recommendation for you or break it up into smaller batches. 
You'll figure it out, whatever you gotta do, but this is one of the best printers you can do. It's a thermal printer. Now let's print out a label that I've already have ready to go. And once your label is ready to go, you just click print. And then tear it off. And while I can't show you the actual label because it's private information, I could just let you know, it looks good. So if you're doing a lot of mailings and you want to save some time at the post office, maybe get yourself a roll printer. If you're looking for another review, try that one.